Hey. Good day folks, welcome back to my channel and as always, thank you so much for watching. Today, we're gonna talk about Well, there is no actual pump action uh, given that this is a paintball replica. Uh, however, on the box, it does say pump action shotgun. Anyway, let's go back in the past and unbox this thing. Well, I don't know about you guys, but for me, these moments always feel like Christmas. So what do we have here? Look at that. All right, we have our usual manual. Anyway, let's get straight to this beauty right here. So we have this T4E Umarex uh, non-pump action, pump action shotgun. Um, again, it is a T4E, so it has the quick piercing uh, CO2, 12 gram CO2 valve. Um, the cool thing about this gun, and we'll see more in detail, is that it takes 16 rounds. That is a lot of rounds. Um, overall, the gun is, the whole thing is 25 and a half inches long. The barrel is 18 and a half inches long. It is quite lightweight, actually. It's about five and a half pounds uh, when it's empty. Um, obviously, it is a 68 caliber, a whole 68 caliber ammo. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'll be honest with you, I have never held anything this realistic and scary looking before. Uh, quite frankly, it takes some getting used to. Uh, that said... So how powerful is this one, you may wonder? And the answer actually lays in the tests ahead. Um, at the risk of sounding boring and repetitive, well, I got this shot done from my friend Troy over in Hawaii. Um, it was an exchange, actually. I sent him my very problematic TIPX, which, by the way, I'm sorry, I just truly dislike, and I really hope to never get put my hands on uh, one of those. Anyway, I sent him my problematic TIPX, and in exchange, he sent me this HDB uh, 68. Of course, he's uh, tweaked a few things to up the jewels, um, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna calculate the formula with the chrono test, uh, with the upcoming chrono test. Um, so look, I've got this thing going with Troy. Uh, I love it. Uh, basically he modifies my guns and I showcase them here on my channel. But I do want to guarantee to always be truthful in the good and in the bad. Um, I have nothing to gain from this other than uh, a modification and really the pleasure to share the information with you guys. And I also get to be creative. <laughs> while I'm doing it. So anyway, if you want uh, your, your gun modified like this one, uh, do contact uh, Troy from Troy's Toys. As always, all the links will be uh, in the description below. Uh, by the way, the HDB 68 at the moment seems to be temporarily out of stock uh, in the United States. Maybe a couple shops, a couple online shots carry it, uh, but once it will be uh, back in mass in the United States, uh, do make sure to check the description below where I'll put links to where to find it. So as I said, this gun carries 16 rounds, which I'm afraid is gonna wipe me out of all my 68 caliber ammo by the end of the day with all the tests that I have planned ahead. But anyway, uh, we are going to use these 68 caliber rubber steel balls. They're S-type uh, brothers. Um, I have these nylon, uh, riot balls here, hard nylon, uh, more rubber balls from T4E, and I have these rubber balls here which are going to be used for the chrono test. They are actually um, riot balls which we are going to weigh so that we can calculate our joules power. So 305. 297 okay so let's say they are three grams 
Okay, so very simply, you load uh, the rounds in here. Um, there's a spring that pushes them towards the chamber here. Um, you have this little opening where you can uh, kind of operate in case there is a jamming. Um, so again, the spring pushes the balls up into the chamber that are then shot out when you pull the trigger. Um, to load, very simply, you push back the spring, but before you do that, actually, you have to raise this little lever here. It took me five minutes to figure it out. If you don't do that, the lever will not lock in place. So you lift up this little thingy here, put it all the way back, and boom, it locks in position right here. Um, we're going to use, again, these 16 rounds right here, which you simply stick inside. Today we'll be using these 12 gram Umarex CO2 cartridges. Quite expensive. Um, however, they are Umarex, which should work well with an Umarex gun, obviously. As always, they go butt in first with the neck out. We will add a couple drops of silicone oil. No need to tighten it too much. Ready to shoot. All right, so let's start with our chrono test. Uh, with this test, we're gonna see uh, various things. The first one, as I said, we're gonna calculate uh, the joules power of uh, this modified gun. So again, we're gonna be shooting three grams projectiles. Let's see how many uh, feet per second uh, they will be traveling at. Uh, secondly, we are going to see uh, again, given it that it's a modified gun, uh, we're going to see uh, how many shots uh, actually can come out of one CO2. In a, in a normal, uh, in a factory uh, HDB68, uh, one CO2 should be able to shoot all 16 um, projectiles with no problem. Let's see if this is the case as well with this uh, modified version, um, or if they lose power uh, halfway or We'll just have to see. Um, and also we will be seeing the penetration power uh, of, of this gun to see if the projectiles, I'm, I have no doubt they will enter this two and a half plastic water jug. Uh, let's also see if they'll come out of the other side. And finally, I do want to stress that I recycle these. Uh, my wife and I and my family actually drink out of these uh, on a daily basis. And before recycling them, I fill them up with tap water uh, to shoot them. And they really are here to catch the bullets so they don't go flying and bouncing around on the on the wood back there so that's it let's get going All right, well, where to start? First of all, I apologize for the screen that was out of focus during the test. Um, but anyway, we saw that the maximum speed, uh, the first shots were around 560 feet per second. We'll get to that in a second. Um, obviously, the balls did penetrate this two and a half gallon plastic water jug. Whoa, oh my God, guys. I think this is the first time that I see simple rubber balls actually penetrate this jug. I mean, that's amazing. I can't wait to rewatch the slow-mo footage. Um, anyway, uh, okay, so we saw that the power was lost uh, 
it went it went it went decreasing uh, quite steadily so it started off at 560 and at the 14th shot this is the 14th shot we were down at 148 uh, and then it pretty much stopped shooting so we still have we still have two shots in the chamber and that's it so it shot 14 shots it did not make it all the way to 16 um, however again the power was quite impressive. All right, so we shot uh, three gram projectiles at 560 feet per second. That should be around 43 joules, the strongest shot. Wow. Um, so yeah, can we call this a 40 joule HDB or maybe we can bring it down given that the uh, shots kind of reduced in power as, uh, as we progressed with the shooting. Should we call it a 30 joules? What do you guys think? All right, let's go directly to our hard surface test. And as always, our very, very hard Dominican uh, Republic coconuts. And given the type of weapon, I just put two side by side and we'll be shooting them both at the same time. guys ever seen anything like this on my channel well I can tell you no because I have never ever produced any sort of damage like this amazing by the way uh, I shot these the s type rubber steel balls 68 caliber amazing projectiles really really powerful projectiles combined with a very powerful gun this is the result Next up, the watermelon. Uh, for this test, we'll be shooting uh, the basically the brothers of the S-type. As you see, the S-type are very have this rubbery look, uh, while these have a bit of uh, metal spring tall on, on them. But other than that, they are very similar projectiles. Also in weight, they are very similar. Once again, we have never seen this type of damage on a watermelon on this channel before. Complete 
obliteration. And for today's episode of If I Put a Hole in It, You Click It, uh, we have this subscribe pillow here. If I put a hole through it, you have to click the subscribe button. Does that sound fair? Well, incredibly disappointing. This subscribe pillow caught all the bullets. Nothing came through the other side. All right, guys. Well, as always, when you see this mannequin head, it means that we have reached our final test. Um, that's it. This is a full styrofoam head. Uh, we have a fiberglass mannequin body. As you know, nothing has really made its mark on this uh, fiberglass, on this mannequin body. Um, while the styrofoam heads, uh, we've seen all types of damage. Most of the time the balls uh, kind of stop inside. Again, it's a full uh, styrofoam head. Uh, more powerful guns have gone all the way across. Obviously, this is not meant to represent a real person in any way, shape, or form. I found these styrofoam heads online. I thought they would make uh, great targets for air gun alley. Anyway, let's get shooting. Well guys, as you've seen, all the projectiles went through the styrofoam head like butter uh, on the fiberglass body. No damage worth mentioning, uh, as always. Um, I actually had to stop shooting about halfway through. I think I shot about seven, eight shots. That's because the balls were bouncing off that uh, wood back there, making way too much noise, and I did not want to alarm uh, my neighbors too much. So we got the point. Uh, which brings us to our final conclusion. And one thing I did forget to mention, guys, is that I think this is the first and only T4E gun to actually have a safety. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it here, but uh, it has this little safety lever, which is very important when you're holding uh, this kind of power. Um, guys, HDB 68, again, this was modified by Troy at Troy's Toys. Uh, if you do want the same kind of power, uh, again, do check the, the, the description below and you'll find links to contact uh, Troy. Uh, other than that, I am incredibly uh, happy and surprised by the power of this thing. I think that if you have one of these and an HDR 68, uh, you're pretty much good to go in terms of home defense uh, if you do want to stay in the less lethal, non-lethal world. Uh, amazing, amazing uh, weapon. Uh, I also forgot to mention that this gun has this uh, has a side rail, uh, obviously has a, a one on top as well. But I'm going to use a side rail uh, at one of my next videos. I want to mount a laser and do a uh, accuracy test with this thing. I have to say the uh, these raised sights worked really really well. I shot at about from about 20 feet. Uh, all these tests, the coconuts and the watermelon, uh, using these uh, the raised sights, and uh, they worked really well. I, I think I was pretty accurate. So anyway, great, great gun, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching, as always. Thank you. Thank you so much for clicking that like button if you did indeed like the video, and thank you for subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And I will see you guys at the next video.